It has two fuselages, six engines, and can carry up to three rockets under the wing. The largest aircraft in the world, the Strata Launch, holds a ton of other impressive secrets that you're going to discover in this video. Number 10. Mind-Blowing Technical Features The largest aircraft in the world has a wingspan of 117 meters, which is almost twice as much as that of the almighty 747. It has two identical fuselages with two nearly identical cockpits. The two fuselages are held together by what we can call the aircraft's third wing situated in the center. This behemoth has an impressive weight of 580 tons carried on the ground by 28 wheels and lifted in the air by six Pratt & Whitney engines, the same as those used for the 747. The total payload the Strata Launch can lift is a mind-blowing 1.3 million pounds. Number 9. The Purpose of the Strato Launch The largest aircraft in the world was designed to serve as a mobile launching pad for various rockets carrying small satellites weighing up to 450 kilograms. After reaching its cruising altitude, the Strata Launch will release the rockets which will ignite and carry the satellites into low Earth orbit. The gigantic airplane can carry up to three such rockets accommodated under the central wing in between the two fuselages. What makes this aircraft so advantageous is that it's literally a mobile launching site for the rockets, preventing the operators from suffering from the limitations of a fixed launch site such as bad weather, air traffic, and ship traffic on the ocean. This ultimately will make space research and exploration much more cost and time efficient. Is it only me, or are we getting into the low-cost space exploration? Number 8. The Infrastructure Needed for the Strata Launch With a wingspan larger than an American football field, the Strata Launch cannot just use any standard airport designed for commercial traffic. In order to build and store the largest airplane in the world, the manufacturer has made a special custom-made hangar at the Mojave Space and Airport. That is also where the aircraft made its first taxi tests and where the aircraft departed for the first time. And by the way, the Strata Launch doesn't need an exceptionally long runway to take off. Although it has dimensions like no other aircraft on the planet, it needs pretty much the same runway length to take off and land as any existing commercial airplane, about 3,700 meters. Number 7. The Two Cockpits Mystery One might wonder how is the Strata Launch actually flown by the pilots when there are two cockpits? In reality, the two flight crew members sit in the right fuselage, and that's the only place they can access all the instruments and flight controls. The left-hand side is a dummy cockpit and is not even pressurized as it contains the avionics and some flight data systems. Number 6. A Boeing 747 pilot can fly the Strato Launch Well, not exactly, as it's a completely different type. But a 747 pilot will find a lot of familiarities with the jumbo jet when entering the Strato Launch cockpit. To reduce production costs, many elements have been added from old retired 747s. Besides the six Pratt & Whitney 4056 engines, the largest aircraft in the world was gifted with other 747 features such as the hydraulic system and actuators, the avionics, the electrical system, and the flight controls. Number 5. It has barely flown Since the start of the project in 2011, the largest aircraft in the world has only flown seven times. Delays in the project didn't allow the Strato launch to be more active. During its first flight in April 2019, the huge airplane had nicely flown for a maneuvering test flight where the crew experienced for the first time how it feels to handle the enormous machine. The latest flight was on the 16th of June 2022, which lasted for three hours and where the Strato launch broke its altitude record by reaching 27,000 feet. Number 4. The Nickname The largest aircraft in the world also has a nickname. The Strato Launch is also called The Rock, although it has nothing to do with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, even though it could be relevant since he's also a very solid and tough guy. In reality, it refers to Sinbad's Rock, which is a mythical bird so big that it could carry an elephant. The nickname couldn't be more on point for the Strato Launch. Number 3. The company was almost bought for $1. The company has spent hundreds of millions since it started in 2011, with the first flight being only six years later. We cannot call this a financial success. After the death of Paul Allen, the Microsoft co-founder and the owner of the Strato Launch program, the company struggled to keep its momentum and continue the project. The company was already scaling back and laying off employees. In June 2018, the company was listed for sale with a price tag of $400 million, which triggered Richard Branson, the Virgin Galactic owner, to make a counteroffer of just $1. Number 2. You can work on the Strato Launch The company currently has over 40 open positions to be taken by adequately qualified professionals. 
They're even looking for test pilots on what they can probably call the largest aircraft in the world. Obviously, there's a set of requirements you will need to have, and most probably a load of experience in the applied department, but who knows? Maybe you're a right fit for them. Just imagine the feeling of working on the most massive airplane in the world. Before getting to the last amazing fact about the Strato Launch, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 1. The First Ever Satellite Launch The Strato Launch Focus is the latest hypersonic vehicle prototype, the Talon A. The shuttle-like rocket is still under development for hypersonic missions, but the company expects the first flight for as early as 2023. They are also designing the second and the third prototype of this kind, becoming the first reusable hypersonic test vehicles that will undoubtedly revolutionize space missions. Besides, developments will also be made to accommodate passengers on such vehicles, either for the first space-scheduled commercial flights or test missions on the Earth's orbit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.